What you drinking? <laughs> I wish I was drinking beer with you. Can yeah. I smell it? You have to open it! <laughs> I would love that one. Would you like a sip? Here, you can have some. Only for 21. Would you like a sip? You can have a sip for two. <laughs> okay. So today we wanted to talk to you about five things that we hate about full-time Airstream living. So hate's maybe a strong word. I thought you had children in there. Oh, of course, yes. Oh, That's what most people would have. Hey, they have a cat and a stroller. Is it a cat? Yeah. That's for y'all. Make my day. So. So, five things we hate about full-time Airstream living. Not hate, necessarily, but five things we definitely don't enjoy about full-time airstream living so number one um i'm really big <laughs> <laughs> and the airstream's tiny yeah so the tiny space slash giant human combo can get a little frustrating sometimes not just because jim always hits his head on like the open cupboards which i swear <laughs> happens five times a day also because there are a couple pinch points in the Airstream. Oh yeah, it's like right there. The space between the bathroom and the shower is tight, especially when one of us is in the bathroom and one of us Ooh. is in the shower. There are so many mornings when we're both opening the doors at the same time <laughs> and being like, Arr. So yeah, that's, that's one of them. the tiny space is definitely one of the things we don't always love. It can be frustrating. Yeah. Number two. Number two. We didn't know what to call this. Well, so, bleh. Bleh. We didn't know what to call this. Yeah, because we were talking about it for a while and you really articulated it, but we gave it a name because, okay. The, the good, good place, place theory. theory. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it was good. I rehearsed and everything. So basically, when you There's live... There's a TV show called The Good Place. <laughs> Spoiler warning coming for the end of The Good Place. If you don't want to have the end ruined for you, skip ahead to that time code right there. Go to that, and then you won't have The Good Place ruined for you. But if you've seen The Good Place, keep watching. If you don't care about spoilers, keep watching. You've been warned. Wow, this milkshake is incredible. Right? Mm. This is how I spend most of my time. Sitting in beautiful places, drinking my milkshake, slowly peeing into my pants, which, instantly evaporates and leaves no trace. Sounds fun. Mm. But didn't you want to tell us how we're all screwed? Ah, damn it. This is the exact problem. <laughs> On paper, this is paradise. All your desires and needs are met, but it's infinite. And when perfection goes on forever, you become this glassy-eyed mush person. But no, because no. So when when I saw that clip, a little light bulb turned in my head and I kind of had this like aha moment where exactly what they had just said was kind of what I had been feeling about our full time living in the Airstream for a while. The way I see it is part of what makes vacation so mm. good is you get to anticipate yes. going to that place you get to pack for it, you get to plan for it, and then you get to go. And part of what makes it so amazing is when you're there, you know it's going to end and you have to come home. It's temporary. Like, how do you go on vacation if you live full-time in an RV? Because this is what people do for a vacation. Do we, like, yeah. go rent an apartment in a city for a vacation? You know. Yeah. So that's number two, the good place theory. Which brings us to number three, moving days. Moving days are interesting. I mean, okay, pathological optimist here. To some extent, I love them because I get to go see something new. I get to go out to a new place, all that stuff. I love running in new cities. Okay, that's the wrong video. That's love stuff. Hate stuff. 
But what I hate is whatever day we move, even if we just move a couple hours away, it still takes a lot of time to pack everything up inside, to clean everything up outside, hitch everything up, get there, two cats, how's everyone doing, unhitch, hook up everything. So your, your day is gone, you're mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. While it has gotten easier with every time we've done it and mm -hmm. we're getting quicker, it just feels kind of tedious. And it's definitely not something that we like about full-time airstream living. I mean, that is definitely why we, for many reasons, we continue to try to stay at places longer. Because yes. think about it, if you're moving every week, like we did for two months, literally every single week is has a moving day, which means we only get one really solid weekend day together. Yeah. But if we stay two weeks, three weeks, suddenly we get weekends, which is lovely. Your beer smells so good. <laughs> When you're pregnant, <sighs> this is as close as you get. Okay, so number four. What's number four? Always, never, tourists. never. When you travel full time, it feels like we are always a tourist and never a local. Mm. Which I think is part of the territory when you do any kind of traveling. No matter how long you're there, if it's temporary, you're by nature a tourist and you don't have those places like your yeah. local haunts Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. so we definitely miss having those establishments like your local coffee shop your local craft brewery so we definitely miss those more permanent aspects that you just don't get when you are constantly moving from place to place. When I was a nanny in New York, which I was for two and a half years for an amazing little boy named Nolan. Nolan, if you're watching this, hi, I love you so much, I miss you. Over and out. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> I would take Nolan to the playground almost every day we tried to get there, weather pending, and uh, we had our local playground and we would see caregivers and moms and dads that were in our classes at the playground and it was just nice to go to the park and see Henry or go to the hmm. park and see our our friends and it felt kind of like we were building this community Where knows your name. but it's only because day after day for two and a half years we could go to those yeah. local places and as an expecting mom um, preparing to care for our child. I think I'm really gonna miss having like my playground. Yeah. So I mean you, we could be in a place and we could go to the playground every day that we're at a campground. Yes. But then we're gonna leave in like two weeks yeah. or a month or two months. Even if you stay like six months you're still leaving. So yeah. I do just have to say that with with all of these things we don't like about full-time Airstream living of course there are so many things we love in exchange. Uh, this isn't just a big, we hate Airstream life. Oh, we actually love it. We love Airstream life, but it's not all like, what did they say, like rainbows and butterflies? My um, CPE supervisor said, life's not rainbows and Snoopies, Jim. That's what Yael would say. I would say like, life's not like chocolate chip cookies and brownies all the time. I don't want brownies all the time, but I do want chocolate chip cookies all the time. I want all the chocolate all the time. So, okay. Number five. Number five. Cold weather! <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was interesting. Never done that before. <laughs> Seriously, traveling in the cold weather in an yeah. airstream is not for us. I think cold weather would have been on our top five things we hate about living any place. I mean, isn't that why we got an airstream? Yes! So we could like leave the cold weather? We go where we want, avoiding the snow. That's what we said. Well, we haven't done that very well, have we? <laughs> Walking in winter wonderland. The cold weather comes with some other demons. Uh, so one is cold, which means you're shivering and you just need to wear more stuff. Airstream is well insulated, fairly, so yeah. it, it's not bad, but it, it drops over time. We have a space heater. We can put the heat pumps on, which are fantastic once we learned what they were. The heat pumps are good at about... We'll say degrees. like 40 or 45 degrees and higher. Yeah. 
if it gets really cold, we you use can use the, the furnace. furnace, which, as you've seen, has its own history of will it or won't it work. We can only troubleshoot it so much. <laughs> we made an entire video about that. We have screwdrivers. We have air. We have a furnace. Let's do this. If there isn't a mobile repair person to come to you, the other option is you have to pack everything up and go to them. And that's hard with two cats. Like we're all just camping out in the truck together. So any cold weather and any malfunction in the RV in cold weather is really not ideal. Even if you plan to be in warmer weather, it can get cold unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. Florida was cold. The iguanas were falling off the trees. It's cold, so cold in South Florida, the Miami National Weather Service tweeting out, don't be surprised if you see iguanas falling from the trees tonight. I mean, cold fronts come in. That's unavoidable, but it's definitely not one of our favorite no, things. It, yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's five things we hate about full-time Airstream living. We will make a video about five things we love. Coming next. So all of you haters who are like... Maybe there's going to be a ton of people who are like, you guys are living the dream. You're full-time traveling and exploring and why are you being so negative? And Really, we're not trying to be negative. No. We're just trying to share like the realities of yeah. this full-time life. Life is not rainbows and Snoopies. It's not just like Instagram photos and YouTube videos that are like <laughs> blissful. And I don't know. Life's kind of a shit show sometimes. There Even is, in folks. the good place. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah. Because we can embrace the good with the bad and be content and happy with this life we've chosen. So, so uh, if you live full-time in an RV or an Airstream or part-time or whatever time, if you travel regularly, we'd love to hear the things that bother you, things that annoy you, things that you hate. And uh, Pet peeves. Yeah. What are yours? Yeah. And we'll be back with another video, Five Things We Love. Next time. Stay jolly. Over, Over and, and out. out. <laughs> That's what you're not. <laughs> you want to wear my glasses? Poopy mommy. The smart cat. Smarty cat. Hi, I'm I'm Whitman, and I wear glasses. Poopy mommy. <laughs> Poopy nanny means. What does it mean? Sweet little baby poop cat. <laughs>